Good day, folks. It's DIY Guy One Two Three here, bringing you another do-it-yourself video. Today we're troubleshooting some ABS sensors. It's easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it. We've got the X Tool IP Five Zero Eight OBD Two scanner. This is a bi-directional scanner, and we're going to use it to connect to the vehicle's computer. You start by taking the connector and plug it in into the computer's OBD Two port underneath the dash, and then turn on the scanner, and then get in out of the rain. Turn the key on the vehicle and click OBD2. I want to show you the types of data logging that the 508 can perform and playback and how you can import the data into Excel and graph it over time. It's pretty neat. We're going to get right into it. We will do auto scan of the vehicle. And so what I'm hoping to find are sensors on the ABS. Okay, so we have a Sierra four-wheel drive. Yes, it is. Yeah, you go through all the settings to get you into your vehicle. And we want to do a system diagnose, an ABS, and read trouble code. I don't think there are any, no codes. So we'll back out of there. We'll go into live data. We'll highlight left front wheel sp speed sensor right front wheel speed sensor it's interesting it's showing five kilometers an hour i'm still right now we've selected a number of sensors we'll pick custom we'll pick record and data recording is turned on and you'll see that that's flashing so let's just drive around for a while what i'm going to be doing is verifying that as you go around a corner you'll see different speeds from right and left front wheel sensors so i'm going to do a few figure eights here and that should illustrate that behavior and then we're gonna get into some slippery terrain as well. So we'll spin the rear wheels and see what happens there. Okay, so I'm in a parking lot, safe space here. I'm going to do some, not high speed, but like, you know, faster than walking pace, very tight turns. I've got the steering wheel cranked all the way until the uh, power steering almost squeals. And what we see there is the left front showing 13 kilometers an hour and the right front showing less. And now I'm gonna spin around and go the other way. What we see here, right front is going much faster than the left. And that's what we saw there. So I'm here in another parking lot that's snowy, gravelly, and I'm gonna do some, a little bit of rear wheel spin here and we should see the rear wheel speed sensor increase in speed much faster than the, the front one so let's see if we can do a little graphing here when i step on the gas we're going to see the rear wheel speed sensor spike up and then the front will spike up much more slowly here we go three two one and so it certainly did if we're driving along on a straight road for example and if you hit a bump and one of your wheel sensor speed sensors gives you a fluctuating reading a jagged reading might be very indicative of a broken wire or a bad sensor or if your sensor reads low it could be indicative of a, uh, a faulty sensor so there's a bunch of different things you can check there using this information it's still pretty neat to uh, it's pretty neat to grasp graph that Okay, so we're back home now. It's been about a 10 minute drive. We, well, 19 minutes actually we've been recording and we have 2060 frames. And so this is the storage location. And when I hit the flashing data export button, it asks me, do I want to end the collection? When I say, okay, it's very possible that this thing is saving a pile of data that it took a while and I was hitting okay in a panicked, silly way. And now it's prompting me to save the data and i want to let's see if i can rename this i'm gonna say let's see a b s let's do that and then we will do a save and it says collect complete so we're going to try to pull this information into the computer so let's see how that goes it's back out of here and we'll stop a recording
That's an example of gathering live data. Now, if you're trying to troubleshoot ABS related problems, you can use the live data capture tool and bring the data into a computer.